Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Realm of Ori. In this video, we will continue with Volume 12, Epilogue, The Emperor's Hegemony. And before we start, this video contains spoilers from the anime and manga series. And by the way guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications for upcoming videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. You're awake, Rudra. The words were addressed to a man sat atop his throne, dressed in opulent clothing. The speaker, a beautiful, blue-haired woman, was the marshal, the one in charge of the meeting hall. Yes, how did the meeting go? We've decided to move forward with the expedition. Thank you for your hard work. Did Gadra oppose the idea? Yes, he did. The old man is very realistic. Weapons from otherworlders cannot rival the true dragons. There was no way he could not have known that, and it would be silly for him to assume otherwise. He he he, that's obvious. Nevertheless, we must carry out this great expedition. Thou shalt know that I am the ruler of this world. It's what I promised Guy, after all. By the way, Velgrind. Tell me, how do you think this expedition will go? Velgrind, the name of one of the only four true dragons of this world. She was the symbol of flame, the crimson dragon that wielded blazing heat. She was a being even older than Storm Dragon Veldora, an immortal too. Her name was Scorch Dragon Velgrind. There was only one person with this name in the world. And it was this beauty who answered Rudra's question. We will undoubtedly emerge victorious. We shall force the dwarves out of their hideout and crush that new demon lord's ego. I will also beat some sense into that lazy, dumb brother of mine and make Guy realize the ruler of this world is Rudra, you. Is that so? That would be wonderful. Do you really think your brother will attack? Of course he will, Rudra, he will definitely show up. That kid likes to get in on the fun. However, I feel that he has yet to return to his prime after his seal was undone. I didn't detect any violent magical storm, like the ones that ravaged the lands in the past. In the past, I would have felt that aura from any corner of the earth, but now it seems to have disappeared completely. Perhaps his resurrection was incomplete? In that case, perhaps my army has a chance against him. That would be very fun indeed. That demon lord dares to bribe my foolish brother and deceive my dear niece. I will be sure to punish him properly. To Rudra and Velgrind, it did not matter whether the attack plan succeeded or not. Rudra was playing a game with Guy, and they had wagered the right to rule this world. This game didn't have any complicated rules. You simply had to use your pawns to overwhelm your opponent. The world was their board, monsters and humans their pawns. At first, Guy's pawns were monsters and majins, while Rudra's were a portion of humanity. They had kept up this game, switching their pieces over the centuries. And now, the game was coming to a head, as the situation on both sides grew chaotic. Not to mention, their strongest pawns were their partners, the true dragons. There was only one absolute rule in their game. They could only use the aforementioned pawns. In other words, as long as Guy and Rudra did not confront each other directly, they could do whatever they wanted. These included the remaining true dragon, Veldora, and the primordial demons. These wildcards were not directly involved in the game. Whether they were turned into allies or enemies was entirely up to the players, Guy and Rudra. Because of the active presence of the heroes Kronoa and Granbel, invading the West became unfeasible. They posed a huge hurdle for us. Had it not been for those meddling heroes, victory would have been yours a long time ago. Not necessarily. My path to ruling the world will forever be fraught with intrigue, it's probably the trial Veldanava laid out for me. That guy's always been fond of pranks. Yes, indeed. My elder brother really was a handful, but the opportunity has arisen. All the necessary pawns are in place. I will grasp victory soon enough. I shall checkmate Guy and Sister Velzard this time. Hee <laughs> hee, Guy has been waiting for an opportunity, too. If you and Veldora were to fight, surely he would jump at the chance. Indeed, how annoying, had that not been the case, I would have taken care of that child Veldora myself, she was talking about the failure of the last expedition. Had Velgrind moved out, Veldora would not have posed a threat. On the flip side, this would have made them vulnerable to Guy. If Rudra were to use his strongest pawn, a true dragon, he needed to have everything prepared perfectly. And this was the perfect time to do so. Rudra's spies across the world had brought back all sorts of information. Even though it's been a long time coming, the wait was worth it. Our biggest roadblock to invading the West has been removed. The true identity of God Ruminas was Demon Lord Ruminas. With this knowledge, they could narrow down a ballpark estimate of her strength. Moreover, her Demon Lord Double had died, and the seven celestial sages had fallen too. Plus, that Granbel, the roadblock, has passed away. 
the threat of the Western nations has been drastically reduced. That is indeed the case. Those who dared to stand in my way have met their demise entirely on their own. Both of them firmly believed that this had to be a divine revelation preceding Rudra's domination of the world. By the way, Rudra, how are you doing? Perfectly fine. My power, army of angels, Armageddon, can be activated at any time. Armageddon, was Rudra's ultimate trump card. The conditions for its activation were very strict, and once it was triggered, there would be a long wait before this skill could be called upon once more. Now with the threat of Granbel out of the picture, needless to say, Rudra believed that they would be victorious. As for Guy, he still had not been able to control the demon lords completely. They were incooperative with each other. This time, everything is stacked in our favor. But do we have enough time? I really want to bring my foolish brother to our side. That way we can use him to deal with Guy. If we could even manage to dispose of my sister, Velzard, then rain and misery won't stand a chance against us. That brings me to my next question. How is your power of domination? Rest assured, if you could keep Veldora occupied on the battlefield, I can use Regalia Dominion to achieve complete control over him. A gentle smile emerged on Velgrin's cruel yet beautiful face upon hearing this. Era, then victory is all but guaranteed. Naturally, everything is going just as I planned. Wonderful, though I am rather worried about you. Oh, stop that. This is the natural order of things. The human body is truly inconvenient. Rudra, successively inheriting my will and memories each time I reincarnate has taken its toll on my soul. It would be fine if I had some time to rest like Gadra, but that is a forbidden luxury for me. If I were to do that, my power would be sealed again. That way, Rudra would have to start over if he wished to unleash his power. If he were to do that during every reincarnation, he would have no chance against Guy. That was why he had been waiting for his power to mature this whole time. Now that he felt his power reaching full strength, the stage was set. Despite everything, Rudra was pushing himself quite a bit in order to maintain this state. This meant that no imperial heir was born as a spare for Rudra. Maintaining his full strength seemed to push Rudra's mind to its limit. The duration of his sleep had been shortening and he was often exhausted. This was his time. He wanted to settle his game against Guy once and for all. How much time do you have left, Rudra? You don't have to worry. At the very least, I can guarantee you that I will not fall before I conquer this world. I see. I should have expected that, from you of all people. Don't be so sad, Velgrind. When I achieve victory, I shall end this all. Have faith. Simply observe how I dominate this world, he was the embodiment of a ruler in every sense of the word. He who ruled all and walked the path of hegemony. That was the hero Emperor Rudra. Indeed. Then please look forward to it. Those who stand in the way of your crusade will die in peace. I shall rain mercy down on them. The two of them continued to chat well into the night. On the following morning, a legion of unprecedented proportions departed from the empire and began their march on the Tempest Federation.